This segment brought to you by Report on Mining. This stunning Victorian landmark, the Russell Hotel, was the gathering place for mining companies, analysts and investors from around the world, interested in learning about the opportunities available within the global mining sector. The London-based PR firm Terrapin meticulously worked out all the details and set the stage for the World Mining Congress. We have uh, evidence that uh, gold was mined over 3,000 years ago. Some people think uh, we have uh, King Solomon's mines that are still producing today. The two-day conference consisted of keynote speakers such as Canada's own Robert Friedland. Long term, I think that uh, red gold or copper, which has always been money, uh, represents a much more attractive play than gold itself. Gold has been a real dog. Arf! Following each speaker's presentation, a panel discussion, led by leading analysts and experts, offering insight on topics such as the economics of mining, supply, demand, investment, and return. In other words, a discussion on everything from inflation rates and credit crunches to long-term forecasts on commodity prices. During this time um, of credit crunch, when you're looking for funding, you need to look for a partner or institution that will take a long-term view on your project. I really think that the credit crisis that we, is just evolving. It's just beginning. I mean, the debt in the Western world is, is so massive. You've already seen the credit drying up. I mean, what has to happen is the money has to come from the central banks, through the banks, to the economy, and it isn't happening. It's drying up through the banks. The banks aren't lending. They're not even lending to each other. The conference offered companies of all sizes from all corners of the world an opportunity to showcase their projects to a room full of international investors, financiers, analysts, and other companies or potential partners. The opportunities are, are quite many, and the mining code that the Saudi government has put in place is highly competitive. In terms of uh, exploration, there's quite clearly been a significant uh, and major trend over the past few years of uh, exploration activity by juniors, which is a real area where uh, IFC is putting a lot of uh, uh, its, its money right now. Along with information sessions, the event offered excellent networking opportunities for those in attendance. Here's a sampling of a few of the companies we spoke with while there. My name is Abel Malinga. I'm working for the Industrial Technology Corporation of South Africa. My name is uh, Rod Webster. Um, as you can tell from the accent, I'm Australian, but uh, I'm the CEO of an AIM listed London listed company. Hello, I'm Michael Lynchbell. I'm Global Mining and Metals Transaction Leader at Ernst Young. My name is Mark Hansen. I'm the Managing Director of Prairie Downs Metals. My name is Paul Atherley. I'm with a company called Lation Resources. My name is Abdallah Dabag. I'm the President and CEO of Saudi Arabian Mining Company. Which finance projects specifically uh, in the mining sector in South Africa and the rest of the continent. I've been involved in the development of a large number of base metal mines, copper, lead zinc uh, and gold. Ernst & Young is a firm that provides accounting, tax, uh, corporate finance and consulting services uh, to the mining sector. It's a very important um, sector to us uh, and particularly as over the last six years it's become increasingly important um, to the capital markets in Canada but also in Australia, uh, the UK um, and China. Prairie Downs Metals is exploring and developing copper, lead and zinc deposits in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. And we're in China. We're looking for gold. The government has issued a new mine, mining law for Saudi Arabia that makes it very attractive and competitive with the rest of the world in order to attract uh, uh, mining companies to come to Saudi Arabia. In the weeks to come, we'll bring you more details on these projects and the conference.